Let's take a look how the search result page looks like. It's entirely normal and there is no widget box inserted except in the footer, set in the previous video. Actually, you can insert the widget box pretty much everywhere. If you know the hooks, defined by the WordPress core, a plugins are themes that you use. Scroll down, to the auto insert section and find the filters option. Then type, the underscore excerpt, in the text field. Let's see, how it looks now. Alright. The default theme of WordPress 3.5, 2012, uses the filter called the excerpt in the search result template. That means we can insert the widget box in the search result page by specifying the filter name, the excerpt. You may wonder what other filters are available to be used. Believe it or not, there are so many filters are defined by WordPress already and you can check them in the codex. Keep it in mind that the callback function for the filter you will use, must receive a string, and return it. There are filters that deal with array or object data types so do not use those kinds of filters, for this option. Now let's talk about action hooks. There are two kinds of hooks, filters and actions. We just used a filter. Filters require the callback function to return a value. However, actions do not. As an example, we are going to use the login footer action hook to insert the widget box into the footer of the login page. Go to the auto-insert section, and find the actions option. Delete the previous value in the filters option, if there is. In the input form of the actions option. Enter the action name, login, underscore, footer. Well done! The widget box is now inserted in the bottom part of the login page. Are they responsive? Yes they are! In the next video, we'll learn how to limit the widget box auto-insert functionality with certain criteria, such as by category and page types.